Um, you know, it's kind of what I told him today. I've seen competitive excellence, and that's what the most important thing coming out of spring is to make this group a competitive group. Um, so, you know, handling some new some new defenses, some of the old defenses, working through it, but ultimately going out there and competing every day, whether it's one-on-one, -on -one, seven on seven. You know, what we care about is guys going out thinking about winning the rep every time. And so that's what I've seen from top to bottom. So that's that's been the positive part of it. I wouldn't say surprised. Um, I've just been pleased with how he fits the culture of Notre Dame. Like he's a Notre Dame guy. And what that means is he's blue collar. He's going to work. He's going to grind. He's going to lead by example. Um, so he fits our room and he fits the team very, very well. Um, he's, he's at a good point. And, you know, the way I see it is he's still growing as a defensive player, not just a safety. Like he's still got to get the, the whole defense, the understanding of the scheme, where he fits and everything. Like that's where he's at. But what I have liked, again, is that competitive excellence that when we go live, you're going to see him making tackles. And at the end of the day, if he keeps that same mindset, he'll get to where he wants to get to and where we want him to get to um, in due time. It's taken a step up from, from last year, and that was a focus coming into the spring. Um, you know, they are the vocal leaders of the defense when we're on the field. They got to make the checks, the calls, all that. And, you know, it kind of starts with the older guys with Brandon Houston and DJ, and they've taken it upon themselves to over communicate and you know, really lead that way. So you're starting to see Ramon and guys like that follow suit. And so we're going to keep pushing them to be more vocal, but it's gotten better.